exciting thrillers, unusual horror movies, comedies, and action movies. In today's issue, hello everyone, and welcome to my Shadow Tavern, and today I have 10 great new movies released on streaming platforms. Make yourselves comfortable and have a great time watching. Empire of Light is a drama about a cinema manager who falls in love with a young trainee in 1980s Britain. Olivia Colman plays Hillary, a depressed woman who works in a decaying theater in Margate. She meets Stephen, a charismatic black man played by Michael Ward, who shares her passion for film and music. Their romance faces many challenges, including racism, violence, and Hillary's affair with her married boss. The film was directed and written by Sam Mendes, who drew on his own memories of growing up in Margate. It is a tribute to the magic of cinema and the power of art to inspire and heal. The film has a nostalgic and emotional feel, enhanced by the cinematography and soundtrack of songs by artists of the era. The film received mixed reviews from users and critics. Some praised the performances of Coleman and Ward, the direction of Mendes, and the themes of love, loss, and redemption. Others criticized the plot as dull, predictable, and sentimental. And I think almost everyone can find the movie too depressing and dark. Empire of Light is a touching and well-acted film that explores the dark side of the Thatcher era and the bright side of cinema. It is a lovely letter to the movies and to life itself. Knock at the Cabin is a psychological horror film directed by M. Night Shyamalan based on the novel The Cabin at the End of the World by Paul Tremblay. It is the story of a family trapped in a cabin by four strangers who claim that one of them must die to prevent the apocalypse. They face a dilemma that will test their bonds and beliefs. Yes, the movie features Shyamalan's trademark twist ending, which may leave some viewers satisfied and others frustrated. The movie's strengths include its tense atmosphere, intriguing premise, effective cinematography, and strong performances. The movie the movie's weaknesses include its lack of character development, its predictable plot points, its underwhelming gore and violence that are expected for this very plot, and its ambiguous ending that may seem like a cop-out or a betrayal of the source novel. Knock at the Cabin is a movie that will provoke discussion and debate among its viewers as it challenges them to question their own values and choices. As always, it is a movie worth seeing for fans of Shyamalan's style and for those who enjoy provocative horror films. The Integrity of Joseph Chambers, drama thriller film directed by Robert McCoyan, starring Clayne Crawford as an insurance salesman who, hoping to prove his survival skills and manhood to his family, decides to go deer hunting for the first time. Despite his wife's objections, he soon finds himself lost and injured in the woods where he encounters a mysterious man who claims to know him. The movie is a character study of a man searching for meaning and purpose in his life, a survival story that tests his physical and mental limits as Joseph confronts his past and his future. The film has a gripping plot, realistic dialogue, stunning cinematography, and a powerful performance by Crawford, who carries the film with his charisma and vulnerability. At the same time, it has its slow pace, its lack of action, its ambiguous ending, and its very limited appeal to mainstream audiences. It is a movie that will challenge and reward viewers looking for a smart and subtle psychological thriller. Caravaggio's Shadow is a biographical drama film starring Riccardo Scamarchio as the famous Italian painter Michelangelo Marisi da Caravaggio, who was accused of murder and persecuted by the Catholic Church. The film follows his turbulent life, his artistic vision, his controversial relationships, and his quest for redemption. The film is a tribute to Caravaggio's genius and influence, as well as a portrait of a tormented and rebellious soul. The film showcases his stunning paintings, recreated in meticulous detail and illuminated by natural light. The film surprises with a compelling plot, rich dialogue, atmospheric cinematography, and a superb performance by Scamarchio. Of course, it lacks action, has an overly complex narrative, and as a biographical drama has limited appeal to international audiences. Caravaggio's Shadow is a movie that will fascinate and inspire viewers interested in art history and Italian culture. The New Toy is a comedy film directed by James Huth, starring Jamel Debuz as Sammy, a security guard who is chosen as a new toy by a spoiled child. The film is a remake of Francis Weber's 1976 cult classic, The Toy, with Daniel Auteuil playing the role of the child's wealthy father. The film is a satire on social inequality and consumerism, as well as a tribute to the original film. The film updates the story in a contemporary context, with references to social media, immigration, and ecology. The film's strengths include its funny situations, witty dialogue, dialogue and an energetic performance by Debuz, who brings his trademark humor and charm to the role of Sammy. At the same time, its predictable plot, lack of originality, shallow characters, and moralizing tone are its weaknesses. The New Toy is a movie that will entertain and amuse viewers looking for a light-hearted and nostalgic comedy. 
Husera, the Bone Woman, is a horror film centered on Valeria, a pregnant woman cursed by an evil entity that wants her unborn child. The movie is a blend of body horror, dark magic, and Mexican folklore inspired by the legend of La Llorona. It is a terrifying and disturbing exploration of motherhood, trauma, and identity as Valeria struggles to protect herself and her baby from the evil forces that surround her. It can show the viewer its eerie atmosphere, gruesome effects, stunning cinematography, and a powerful performance by the lead actress, who conveys Valeria's pain and fear with intensity and emotional range. At the same time, the plot is a bit confusing. Its ending is vague. Is this the main characteristic of all modern low-budget horrors? Anyway, The Bone Woman is a movie that will shock and haunt viewers who are looking for an intelligent and original horror movie. A Man Called Otto is a comedy drama film directed by Mark Forster, starring Tom Hanks as Otto, a grumpy widower who wants to end his life. The film is a remake of the Swedish film A Man Called Ove, based on the novel by Frederick Backman. The movie follows Otto's unlikely friendship with Marisol, a pregnant woman who moves in with her family across the street. The movie is a heartwarming and humorous story about how one person can make a difference in the life of another. It deals with themes of grief, loneliness, forgiveness, and redemption. The film's strengths include its engaging storyline, witty dialogue, dialogue, beautiful cinematography, and a superb performance by Hanks, who brings his charisma to the role. A Man Called Otto is a movie that will entertain and touch audiences looking for a light-hearted and nostalgic comedy drama. Cairo Conspiracy is a thriller that tells the story of Adam, a young student caught up in political and religious intrigue at Al-Ajar University in Cairo, the center of Sunni Islam, as he becomes a pawn in a ruthless power struggle between the Egyptian government and the university's leaders, who are electing a new grand imam. The film is based on the Swedish novel by Jonas Hassan Kamiri. The movie is a gripping and complex story about how one person can change the course of history. It deals with themes of faith, loyalty, and corruption. Despite the fact that the plot is not great and has some plot holes, it is compelling. Worth seeing for its dialogue, atmospheric cinematography, and authentic decor. We Have a Ghost is a comedy horror film directed by Christopher Landon and starring David Harbour as Ernest, a friendly ghost who haunts a suburban house. The movie is based on the short story Ernest by Jeff Minock. It follows the adventures of Kevin, a teenager who befriends Ernest and posts a video of him online, making him a viral sensation. The movie is a funny and heartwarming story about how one person can change someone else's life for the better. It can win you over with its engaging plot, witty dialogue, colorful sets, and quality performance by Harbour. The plot is a bit predictable, as is usually the case with family films and its sentimental tone may distract some viewers. Nevertheless, it is a good comedy drama to watch, especially if you are looking for a family-friendly movie. Operation Fortune, Ruse de Guerre, is an action comedy film directed by Guy Ritchie and starring Jason Statham as Orson Fortune, a spy who teams up with a Hollywood actor to stop a billionaire arms dealer. The movie is based on the novel The French Exchange by Mark Burnell. The movie follows Fortune and his crew as they use an elaborate ruse to infiltrate the enemy's lair and recover a deadly weapon. The movie is a fun and fast-paced adventure that mixes action, humor, and espionage. The movie features a stellar cast, especially Grant, who delivers a hilarious and villainous performance as the eccentric antagonist. Operation Fortune Ruse de Guerre is a movie that will entertain and amuse viewers looking for a light-hearted and nostalgic action comedy. It is a must-see for fans of Richie's style and for those who appreciate Statham's talent. And that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Feel free to share this video with your friends, subscribe to the channel, and click the buttons below the player. And see you in the next issue. Bye.